Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today I thought I'd make a video and take a look at the new Niagara Fluids plugin, which is brand new to Unreal Engine Preview 1. And basically this is a brand new plugin that is in beta that just released with Preview 1 that features not only real-time fluid simulation, but also real-time particle effects such as this smoke here that you see in the scene. Now to actually enable this plugin, all you have to do is go to your plugins and search for Niagara. And you're going to see here at the bottom, you just have to click this little checkbox here for Niagara Fluids. Basically what I have in front of me are some of the particles, not all of them. I have a lot more here in my content browser. Basically, as you can see here in the level, we have uh, this real-time visual effects here, this volumetric colored smoke cloud. I mean, this one just looks really impressive, and you guys need to check out uh, the fluid simulations here. Now, over here is actually one of the uh, various fluid simulations that comes with the Niagara Fluid Sim plugin. But as you can see here, I can move this little pool back and forth, and you can see the water dynamically reacting to how I kind of move it back and forth. Now that was basically the the water pool. Over here is the water cube, which I think is more impressive here. Basically you have kind of like this water faucet that's filling up this little cube here. And this is all real time fluid simulation. So like I said, this is currently in beta. So really impressed of the results. And you can move this stuff around left and right here and you can see kind of creating some waves. And actually when you kind of turn it left and right, it'll uh, spill out some of the liquids. Uh, now I'm not sure if uh, all of the white particles there or just artifacts or something or if it's just not compiling right. Now it'd be interesting to have this set up with uh, an environment. Fill up this enclosed area with just this fluid simulation. Now that was basically the water faucet. Uh, here is some of the other uh, fluid simulations here. So we have basically a little splash. Uh, now there are actually 3D and 2D simulations. So I'll try my best to show all of the different particle effects. So here's the shallow water. And basically you can see this ball kind of rippling through the water. Uh, now I'm not sure what's uh, causing this issue where uh, this part is not actually simulating. But if I actually go ahead and open up the Niagara system, so I scroll out here in this little viewport, you can kind of see a better view of what's going on. Basically this ball just being dragged through this water plane and you can see the wakes and also the ripples here being created in real time with uh, fluid simulation. Pretty neat there. Okay, and then we also have another shallow water plane it's basically kind of just a ripple in the middle. The water is just uh, rippling off of the sides. And then of course the pool that I showed earlier here where you can just move the water side to side. Watch it splash up. And it would definitely be interesting to try and set this up to interact with the actual environment. So if I were to fill this entire level up with, with this uh, fluid simulation. But yeah, those are all the water sims. I'm going to show you all the 3D gas. So we have the colored smoke effect here that I showed earlier. Really nice detail here. Really nice effect. And I'm not too familiar uh, with Niagara systems myself. I've made like a couple in the past, but I haven't really dug into the Niagara editor in depth. We have this dust explosion. So I'll just play that one more time. Then we have the gas explosion and the gas explosion cinematic. So this, I believe, is just a higher detail version of that. Then we have the gas fire. So this is just a really neat fire simulation. And you can even get close here and look at uh, how detailed this the particles are there. Now you can see my FPS. I have my FPS showing here in the top right. I'll leave my specs in the description below, but I have a RTX 3070. My frame rate is around the 60s uh, with some of these particle effects. That's why I don't have them all in the level at the same time because it, it kind of kills your frame rate. So now this is the gas particle. Pretty neat. Last but not least, we have the gas smoke. So basically 
have this little fire here and the smoke actually rises pretty high on this simulation but you can see the 3d cloud here would be interesting to see how it would affect uh, gameplay dynamics inside of maybe something like a first person shooter but yeah that was the smoke effect now there are a bunch of 2d versions of all of the 3d effects that I've shown you there uh, before I get into those I'll actually show you how I created all of these effects so if you just right click in your content browser and go to Niagara system um, you're gonna have these these four different options to pick from you can select a new system from selected admitters uh, these are basically kind of the older templates uh, that we've had previously but basically if you have the Niagara Fluids plugin installed. You're going to click on this new system for template or behavior example and then you're going to see all of the new templates included. So the 2D gas which I'll show here in a second, 2D liquid and then all the 3D gas and 3D liquid simulations. So yeah you just click on any of these and click finish then you'll have the actual Niagara system. Okay so here are some of the 2D effects here. So we have the gas explosion and basically this is a 2D plane that faces the camera. I mean this thing looks good up close and uh, real far away as well. Uh, now if I go ahead and delete this and show you guys some of the other ones here. We have the gas fire, the gas smoke, and then the smoke fire which I believe I have over here already. But yeah, those are some of the 2D smoke effects. We have some interesting uh, 2D water effects. So we have kind of like this 2D pool. Then we have the hose. And then we have the splash, which I think is honestly pretty cool. And I'm not sure if this is actually 2D or 3D. It kind of looks like it's 3D, even though, it, even though on the template it said that it was uh, 2D. But yeah, those are basically all of the new particle effect templates that came with the Niagara Fluids plugin. Now, they're obviously still working on improving this system, and it'll be really interesting to see how they make updates and how they change it, especially if there's a way to have it interact with the actual level. Now, uh, previously, there have been real-time fluid simulations in Unreal Engine through uh, what was called NVIDIA Flex. And this was a real-time fluid simulation, particle simulation, uh, soft body physics, all that stuff. I think it came out around five to six years ago. Unfortunately, it never really stuck on because I think they only ever kept the Unreal Engine fork uh, with NVIDIA Flex updated to, I think, 4.19 or something. Super outdated. Uh, they never really kept it up to date and they probably haven't updated it in the past couple years but yeah you can look at a lot of the videos on nvidia flex on youtube and in fact i think you could probably still download the old demo on nvidia's website but like i said it's going to be exciting to see where the niagara fluids plugin goes with this and how it will change when it gets out of beta but yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on it, first impressions and whatnot. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. And that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.